Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to Unturned 3.7.5.0. I am a few hours late on this one. I wasn't by my recording setup when it came out, uh, but today's update was actually pretty major. It contained a lot of medical related items in addition to the March roadmap. And on top of that, workshop, Steam workshop. The links to uh, get access to the Steam Workshop for Unturned will be in the description down below alongside a tutorial on how to create custom models for Unturned will also be in the description down below. It's all there, ready for you guys to go, which means I can start up the Mod A series very soon and now that we are going to have some awesome new custom models for us to play around in. If you guys would like to check out the March roadmap, I'm not going to focus this video as much on that, but if you guys would like to check it out, I'll put the update post in the description down below. But in this video, I'm going to be focusing on the actual physical additions into the game, and there is a lot of them. So let's hop right into the cannon map, and then place down some traps to hurt ourselves, and then try out all these medical items to see how good they work. Alright, we are now on the Canada map. I've set up some traps to hurt ourselves, and then we'll be able to test out all of the different healing powers of the new medical items and my backpack is filled with all sorts of hospital goodies. Some of these help out sickness and lots of them help out your health and some of them do a little bit of both. But over here on the very left I've got vials of liquids and pills and stuff. I've got bandages right here in the middle, some uh, syringes of stuff in the top right, and then some full bags of goodies. Um, in the bottom right. So I'm going to start with these vials and jars of crap in the top left. We have cough syrup up at the top. Now I would assume that this would probably reduce sickness, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. Since I'm not really able to reduce my sickness down, like on command, if any of these reduce sickness, and I will find that out by going in the game files, um, I'll let you guys know on the screen. Anyway, I'm just going to walk through here get myself pretty hurt and drink the cough syrup and it did help 5% of my health and um, I'm sure it'll probably do some sickness health as well and I will put that on the screen right now. I should probably give myself a bunch of med kits, shouldn't I? Alright, we're reset. Let me move all these med kits kind of out of the way. Next we have tablets. Now these probably will do sickness as well but we can test out if it helps out your health as well. Down to 65% and we eat it and it also does 5% as well and I'll put the sickness um, help up in the top right of the screen. Let's reset real quick. Next we've got antibiotics. Now this I'm sure um, for sure um, helps out your sickness but I believe in the Unturned Tupano it also helped out your health so we'll try that out as well. And wow, it brought it all the way up to 98%, so that means it helped out 40%, I believe. Um, I wasn't able to check that out, but once again, I'll put all these on the screen right now. Next, oh, I should probably use my bed kit. I've got vitamins. These were an unturned 2.0, and they were strictly a sickness kind of thing, but we can always test it out. And, oh, that was 10% this time, so it looks like it's 10%, and I'll put the sickness help on the screen right now. And lastly, we have painkillers. Now these help out your character a lot. So I might need to walk through this two times and eat that. And it brought it up to 50 instantaneously. So that was an increase of 30, I think. Anyway, pretty cool. Use a med kit to reset as well. And now we've got bandages. Now these are designed to stop bleeding and all of them have the ability to stop bleeding. Um, but some of them um, also help out your health in addition to stopping the bleeding as well. So the dressings right here are very high quality. In between um, the rag, which is very bad, there is just the regular bandage. And so the rag probably only heals you 5% and stops bleeding. The bandage probably does 10% and then the dressing probably does more than that. But they all stop bleeding. So we'll start off with the rag, run through here, and it should bring us up to... Yeah, it looks like it only did 5%, but it stopped the bleeding, so that's pretty nice. And lastly, we have dressings. We run on through. We're bleeding. We put it on. And that time it helped out 30. Wow, quite a bit. And stopped the bleeding as well, so dressings are very nice to always keep on you. Just in case you get shot in the face, you can just, you know, bandage it up, and you'll be good as new. So anyway, those are the bandages. Let's move on to the syringes of crap. Morphine, powerful painkiller capable of forgetting even broken bones. Oh, interesting. So if you break your legs, um, which I can't really do right now. There isn't really anything. Ah, I can jump off the top of the tunnel. All right, jumping off the top of the tunnel. I'll probably start bleeding as well. 
Ah, uh, yep, broke my legs, down to 49%. Put on the morphine, leg is fixed, and it only did 5%. Hmm, strange. Before it actually helped out a ton. So it looks like now it only does 5%, but it helps out your broken bones. So this is kind of the equivalent of using a splint. So anyway, that's the morphine. It might have also helped out sickness, so we'll have to try that out as well. Well, actually, I think it just went down to 95%. So morphine might have actually hurt my sickness. Interesting. Well, moving on to adrenaline. I think the only thing that this does is it just uh, resets your, uh, your sprint. So if I get this down all the way to zero and then use it, it should go pretty much all the way up to the top or it might not even wear down at all. Yep, went up to 100% and as you can see, my sickness went down to 90% so it hurt that 5% and it didn't affect my health. So anyway, that was the syringe stuff. Moving on to the blood -o bag or bag of blood. <laughs> anyway, so this is probably going to be uh, the most powerful healing thing of all of them. I don't know, it might be also this suture kit or suture, suture, suture kit. Anyway, run on through to the barbed wire. We're at 19%, use the bag of blood and it brought us all the way to 87%, so that was 70%, I believe. But anyway, it didn't stop the bleeding as well, it just added more blood into your body. Uh, but in this situation, it pretty much saved my life, because I'm not going to be able to uh, bleed to death. It will stop before I die. Uh, next is the suture kit, a bag of field medical equipment for emergency situations. I'm going to wait for my health to get down a bit more, so just in case if it caps out at 100. And we'll also be able to see if it stops bleeding as well. So let's do it at 40. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. It stopped the bleeding and brought it all the way to 89% for a total of 50% healing capacity. And that is the last of the healing items. In addition to these healing items, he also added crushed berries. I was thinking about going through all of them, but essentially what they do is they are reversed effects of the berries that are already in the game. So if you guys would like to figure out the effects of the berries that are already in the game, last update I did a detailed version of like all the berries and their effects. And basically if you take several berries, you can craft them into crushed berries and their effects will be reversed. So you can come across two different kinds of poisoned berries, you can combine them and you'll be able to make them to where instead of hurting you, they will actually heal you. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, those were all of the additions in this new update. There was also some minor fixes as well. And if you guys would like to check that out, I will, as always, put the full update post in the description down below. But that is all I have for now for the Unturned 3.7.5.0 update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that to because we like Big Boom is out.